Hi, this is Ken Jureski, and today on Talking Pictures, we're actually going to look at a picture, a print actually, a silver gelatin print. I haven't had uh, one of these done, let alone printed one in quite a while, so I'm excited, a little bit uh, anxious to see what it looks like. I did this uh, print with digital silver imaging. They're out of Boston, and they, uh, they make real old school silver prints from digital files, so I don't know what to expect here. I haven't looked at it yet. I started opening it, luckily, because this was like tough. Normally, Shouldn't touch a silver print with your bare hands, but since I'm the artist, I'm allowed because whatever happens to it is my fault. If this didn't turn out good the way I wanted it to, I'll have to I'll have to give it another try. I didn't know how to uh, how to process the image file for this output, and uh, it's all. It's all kind of new territory, for me at least. This is a 24 by 36, so it's a pretty good size. was basically printed on a matte paper and selenium toned which is how I like to uh, how I like to do it in the dark room back in the day so the thing with silver prints you gotta be really careful especially when they've been rolled up like this because you don't want to get a little crinkle in them from the half moon the half moon crinkle I have to sign this on the front and then date it on the back before I can ship it ship it to the person who requested it. So the thing with looking at prints is you've got different distances you know some people come up this is like would be a comfortable viewing distance but as a photographer you're always going to go and look in closer so to over sharpen when you get in closer the print's going to fall apart so that's that's kind of the trick uh, from the from the normal viewing distance it looks beautiful it really looks good but the test is how it's going to look when you get up close and really get your eyeballs on it. I'll tell you what, it looks pretty good. So I'll, I'll give you a close look at it. Just so, just so you can hopefully enjoy it. I hope the person that uh, that it's going to will enjoy it.
So you can see it looks pretty good close up and it looks just beautiful from a from a normal viewing distance and it's going to look spectacular once it gets framed. So there you go. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.